ready to. Bless on the mercy for they shall be God. Bless is the peacemaker. Have all these attributes. And people will know you don't have a pack big no big old sign on your back in bold letters saying I'm a Christian. I uh, worship that revival center possible. You don't have to have all that on you. Have it in you. Mm -hmm. But not only you're demonstrating the world of what you are, you, you demonstrate what to the world what you are from your heart. Yes. Amen. Let your heart exhibit. From page number 119 now. The third paragraph. Their height, the height of regards of the centurion was a display in the explanation was this plea that this man was worthy of receiving Jesus' help. Mm. They explained further that he had shown genuine love to the Jewish nation, especially in having built them a synagogue. This was indeed a centurion unlike most of the others. Otherwise, he was a centurion, but he wasn't like most of the others. Mm -hmm. he, uh, I believe the man had heard something and had got in him some kind of way. Somebody had him planted a seed somewhere. Mm. You know, when you plant a seed, you might not come up right now uh, overnight, but that <coughs> seed is down in you going. You believe in some type of way. Mm. Otherwise, you believe in that way. That man standing for us that Jesus came to demonstrate and he done seen some of his demonstration or heard some of his de demonstration. What he doing? Mm -hmm. That's why you can hear about somebody you they in Oklahoma City, but you heard what they did. Mm -hmm. You heard what they how they demonstrated over there. Yes. And and you listen and I I, I wanna see that person. I, I, I I've been waiting on somebody to change these things and no man over there in Oklahoma City is changing this thing. He's not doing what we do. Mm -hmm. And he had something in him to make him believe in what he was doing. And he had a heart change also to build a church. Mm -hmm. Most of them Jews that would they ain't done that. Said mm -hmm. church and oh you better get away from me. I don't believe in God. Don't come up here talking to me about no God. Mm. No, you're going to work Sunday, but I don't care what. I had him to tell me. We work on Sunday. I said, well, you might be. Why <laughs> 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 well, come with you? That ain't what I said. I said, you might be working Sunday. I said, but I'm not. And I... I stood so firm, I didn't, I, yes, well, if they find me, I'm going to pursue it because we union and they can't right. put nothing on me that I don't want to do. Mm -hmm. I'll take them to court, and if I lose, I just lose, and I ain't going to lose because I'm standing for God in the first place. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they looked at me, they said, strange, they said, well, you don't have to, I said, I know I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that. <laughs> But you get rid of nature, I know, sir, I'm going to tell you right now, I do not work on a Sunday. Mm. Mm. We went on strike for three months. Looked like they put me down every Sunday morning to walk picket. I said, I'm not walking picket mm. on Sundays. I said, change me with somebody else. Uh, put me on the midnight, whatever you want to do with me, but I'm not going to walk no picket. Mm. I'm, going, I'm going to church. I believe in going to church. Yeah. And you know, when I stood firm on what I believe, they, they worked around that kind of stuff. Mm, mm, mm. When you stand for something, I'm talking about when you really stand for it, believing for it, God will fight for you. Yes, he will. Yes, God will fight for you. Mm. Especially if it's for him you standing for. Mm. He'll turn them things around to your good, for your good. <coughs> Amen. From another page here, I'm just reading a little bit, I'm gonna stop here. Page one twenty again. No, no, I don't want to read one twenty one. One twenty one. 
from the third paragraph from the right hand corner. The Jews were supposedly looking for the coming of the Messiah, but the faith of this the I'm sorry. The Jews were supposedly looking for the coming of the Messiah, but the faith of this Gentile servant centurion faith surpassed theirs. Jesus had arrived and given many evidence of who was in many given many evidence of who he was and but many of them, especially their leaders, still had no faith. And this is what I just got to say a ago. This same church and he done heard about it or done seen it. And he started believing because he done heard what the scroll said that somebody's coming, somebody's coming. Get ready, get ready, somebody's coming and they're going to start changing things. They're not going to be doing what we're doing. And he's seeing something. But the people that follow Jesus, they're going to close the eyes. He just like Isaiah said, they're going to close the eyes. They're going to shut their ears up. They're falling, but they ain't hearing nothing. You see, going to church this morning, it could be full of people. Padded pews, air conditioned, blowing, just <laughs> cool, and giving you lemon juice to drink, mm. uh, whatever Kool Aid you like, and then they ain't got no faith to believe nothing God's word said. Mm. Got the good night pews and nice church, but I ain't believing nothing. Mm. I know I ain't the only one been in that kind of church. Mm -hmm. Amen. They they got the big group building. Everything, every time you sing, and words go up on the screen. Bouncing ball, <laughs> singing all that. Then <laughs> I read the scripture all on the screen, all the way around. I'm telling you, you don't even have to turn your head. If you sit this way, the screen that way. If you sit that way, the screen that way. But it comes down to believing God, they don't believe nothing. My God. Jesus. Mm. Hey! Listen, I've been there and I've seen that. Mm. Oh, I said, now, I, I, they got all this stuff in here. Read the Bible. It's on the screen. Mm. If you didn't bring your Bible, look up there. Mm. Mm -hmm. The Word is there. All the Word. But when it comes down, the world used the phrase, the real nitty gritty. Mm. Mm -hmm. They ain't got nothing. My God. But a frame. This is why Jesus said, yeah. He, he could he could rebuke them disciples. Mm -hmm. There's a sinner down the road. Mm -hmm. Got faith enough to believe if I say something, mm -hmm. his servant will be healed. And y'all follow me and don't believe it. He said, I have not found this in Israel. In Israel. Thank you. And I'm going to hurt my mouth. Yeah, mm -hmm. Anybody has a thought? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Yes.
and uh, in Israel, they consider a Roman, I say, as a foreigner, mm -hmm. as a foreigner, mm -hmm. and when the foreigner is, is a non-Jewish or either Gentile, because mm -hmm. he was a Gentile with great, great, like I say, yes. great, great, and, and like I say, <laughs> He was amazed. Yes. He really was. He was amazed of the faith that mm -hmm. she had. Amen. And uh, then the, the commander, he went on to uh, tell, you know, tell Jesus about he know of authority. Mm -hmm. Because if you are a commander in, in the army, you have authority. Yes. yes. And I was busy. But did you know it's a lot of people 
people. I said for an instant, I have <coughs> They know. They know the word. I mean, they know it. Yes. yes. But they do not want to abide by it. Amen. Yes. They rather and go through a lot of difficult things. But they know it. Yes. You know what they say? I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, I have one. I'm not ready because I don't want to be a hypocrite. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I go in there, I'm going to be all for God. Yes. And, and see, that's what I say to her. When we be, I say, when we confess yes. that we are a child of God, mm -hmm. We should live according to what that because you can hinder, hinder people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can really hinder, mm -hmm. especially a new convert. Mm -hmm. You can hinder them. Yes. Yes. And so we as uh, a child of God, mm -hmm. that's as, as my brother said, do the book, which is the Bible. Do it. Yes. Just do it. Don't take from it. Mm -hmm. And don't add to it. Mm -hmm. Just do. do. Yeah. do. Mm -hmm. And so that is our obligation. Is it is. To do. To do it. To do. Mm -hmm. Now, and do it and live. You mm -hmm. know. And uh, mm -hmm. say that faith walk. Mm -hmm. uh, that yeah. faith walk. Yes. That's what's yeah. give you in doing this. And to do. Mm -hmm. For God to understand. And mm -hmm. faith. Faith in Jesus. Yes. And we thank I uh, thank God for this blessings. This is my inspiration. It's mm -hmm. inspired. Yes. It's inspired all of us in here. Yes. And this. Stay faithful. Yes. Yes. Man, stay faithful. Yes. Thank you, Sister Honda. You hit something a moment ago about the word, full of the word, know the word, all the word that you didn't get. And God shaped check me. He checked me. Mm. I was trying to keep up with a lot of folk that said I read the Bible through and through three times. I went to models and got this little pamphlet you can read something to tell you how many scriptures you can read in a day, mm -hmm. how many chapters of the Old and New Testament. And I was trying to follow that thing. Mm -hmm. Put it Ten old, ten five and new, and all so many songs. And I got to doing that, and I was just humming myself and zoom, zoom, zoom. Got my chapter, zoom, zoom, zoom. And God just checked me. Mm -hmm. I could hear a voice talking to me. I was on my porch. And I could hear a voice say, How much of that have you comprehend? I got up and stood and walked around and looked out. Anybody around the house and talking? And nobody around the house. I got back in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, started up again. Going to read another chapter gone. Behind. Mm -hmm. And God checked me again. How many of the scripture in that chapter have you comprehend? Mm -hmm. I done read it. I got it all behind me now. But I, ain't, I done read it. And they ain't, they ain't got nothing in my head that I can say I read. Mm -hmm. I just read it, and, and and he kind of talked to me and got me on the track. Well, when I read now, I get some understanding. If I don't read but one chapter per day, yes. I want to get some understanding. Yes. What he talking about, right. and that way I'll have something in me if oh, somebody yeah. needs. That's right. But if I zoom, zoom through the Bible three and four times a year, whole Bible and ain't got nothing, I ain't living nothing. Mm -hmm. The majority of the people that you have seen and talked about, I read the Bible and brag about it, six, seven times up through the year and look at their lifestyle. You watch and see how they live it. Mm -hmm. That Bible ain't went through them at all. Mm -hmm. Just like going the top of their head and running off. One more something, one more paragraph for it, and give somebody else to tell. From my heart, from the heart of the lesson, 
we hardly ever bring that up. The heart of the lesson. He's got some good sayings here. Mm. And around the third paragraph from the left hand corner. Say, here in faith, here in faith, always begin with reverence. Otherwise, I, I don't believe I'm going to respect you. I, I'm going to give you some of my undivided attention. I'm not going to come in here to man nothing. Hmm. I just believe you can do it. I'm going to reverence you. This is third and reverence you. You don't have to come here. You don't have to come out of here. My house ain't cleaned up. My roof, no, that I believe so strongly. If you just speak it down the road. Hmm. He reverence it, God. And always begin with reverence and respect for God when we must understand that we have no right to demand anything of God. We must make our request in light of his, the knowledge of God, goodness and grace and willingness. Leave the final answer up to him. Yes. Amen? Amen. We got to respect God for who he is. Mm. And respect God, I know you can do it. Yes. If you will do it. I believe it's, the, it, it's in my Bible, I'm trying to think of, it was the, mm, mm, so, thou can make me whole. Leper, leper, mm. ran to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, if thou will, thou can make me whole. Mm, mm, mm. If you're willing. Yes. I can't Put, just put that right where it's at, but it's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. If you're willing, you can make me whole. And Jesus turned and said, I will. Be thou clean. And the leper went away whole. But he, first of all, if you're willing, you can do this. And he said, I am. Mm -hmm. Be thou clean. Anybody else has a thought? Who we call little brother? Beautiful lesson this morning. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. He couldn't help him. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But he had heard about somebody that could. Yeah. You know, and praise God, a lot of times we may not have something to help somebody, but we know someone that can, mm -hmm. and then we can call them and ask yes. them would they do this. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. It's not just to shut up just because you don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. You know somebody that do have That's something right. uh, that can you can help that way. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And so so uh, Jesus uh, followed them back uh, to uh, the Sigeria Paternity uh, House. Mm -hmm. And so uh, before he got there, uh, uh, the man had sent his friend to, to uh, tell him uh, that uh, he, he wasn't, you know, worthy to come under his roof. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God, glory to God. Mm -hmm. And so, so uh, uh, when you know something about Jesus, you know Jesus is not just anything. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus is a great man. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And so this man know uh, uh, know that he knew he didn't have what the, what the Israelites had, mm -hmm. and uh, he didn't want them to come under uh, the Roman uh, 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 construction of uh, uh, his home. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. But he let him know. Just speak the speak the word. Mm. Praise mm. God. You don't have to uh, be where a person are if they sick. Mm. You can just uh, uh, get on your knees before God and yes. cry out to them. Wow. God can heal them. Yes. Or you get on the phone and be yes. someone call and, mm -hmm. and need need uh, uh, you to pray with them to get healed. Yes. You can uh, do that, and you don't have to uh, touch them. God. Sees and he knows. Yeah, he knows. Praise God. And it, it's uh, uh, all we have to uh, know that Jesus has the ability to do, to do anything. It. Yes. Mm. It's nothing that he don't have the ability to do. Uh, praise God. And we have to have faith uh, knowing that he has this uh, ability. Yes. And yes. he can do it mm. if he chooses to. Yes. Right. Uh, yes. Praise God. He don't have to. But if he chooses to, he can do it. He can do Praise it. God. And we have to have faith yes. in his ability to do it and ask him. Mm -hmm. He said, ask and it shall be given. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we uh, uh, ask him uh, to do things, mm -hmm. uh, you know, for us, things that we can't do. Yes. And he expects us to do things that we can't do. We can. mm -hmm. Praise God. He expects us to do it. Yes. Praise God. Some people are just so lazy, they want you to do everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Don't want to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But the things that we can do, uh, He expects us to do. To do it. Yeah. And the things that we cannot do, then He expects us to call on Him to do it. To do it. Mm -hmm. And He will do it. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Glory to God. And so so uh, that's why He could see the great faith in this, this uh, uh, Roman. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, praise God. Glory to God. Because the Romans wasn't, uh, you know, of his chosen people. Mm -hmm. And he could see that a great uh, faith in him. Yes. But uh, uh, Israel, uh, the Israelites was mm -hmm. his chosen people. Mm -hmm. And and uh, he could see that uh, they didn't have that type of faith. Yeah. Amen. Praise right. God. Glory to God. Amen. And it's for us to see what is going on in this lesson today. Yes. This lesson that just... Uh, just pop up in the in the book. Amen. God touched this uh, uh, writer's heart to yes. put this thing yes. so we can see and yes. understand. Mm -hmm. Praise God, the uh, 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 authority of God, yes. uh, authority, and and uh, uh, respect His ability. Right. Praise God, glory to God. Mm -hmm. And so, so uh, a lot of times people say it. Uh, uh, I believe the Lord uh, healed me. And then, then uh, uh, if you, if I pray for you, would you believe? Well, I, I, I kind of believe that mm -hmm. that you either believe or you don't. Mm -hmm. right. You either believe he will do it or you don't. There's mm -hmm. no in between. Amen. Praise God. We have to have faith and know that God can do these things. Yes. And he uh, he'll do it if he chooses to do it. Yes. Praise God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And so, so. Uh, uh, Jesus did, don't, didn't heal everybody. Mm -hmm. Praise God. 
in uh, uh, in uh, Apostle Paul a good example. Yes. Praise God. He had uh, a thorn in his flesh. Yes. Praise God. And he uh, sorted the Lord three times. Yes. Praise God for his healing. Mm -hmm. But what did God uh, say? His grace is sufficient. Grace is sufficient. And his strength is made what is it? Uh, his strength is made perfect in weakness. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and so uh, Apostle uh, Paul took that and ran yes. with it. Yes. He didn't get angry because God didn't 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 mm -hmm. take that away from him. Amen. He didn't get angry at him. No, no. But people these days, uh, when they parents or something to die, they get mad with God. Yes. Mm. I don't know why I've got to take my pain. Yes. Like a, a lot of other parents haven't done. Mm -hmm. Praise God. They just saying about theirs. They get mad and don't even want to have mm -hmm. nothing, no dealing with them. Mm -hmm. And that's just uh, foolish. Mm -hmm. Just foolish. Amen. Uh, praise God. But Apostle Paul took what Jesus, you know, said and ran with that. Yes. And, and know that whatever uh, he would give him the grace to do what he needed to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And he did. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Pastor Paul was one of the greatest mm -hmm. disciples of, yes. of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. More so than uh, Peter, James, and John and the rest of them. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Praise God. And so, so, uh, uh, we, we expect to uh, live according to God's word. Mm -hmm. and, and if we live under that, we're going to cause somebody to stumble yes. over our lives. And, and uh, we have to, we will be accountable for that. Amen. Uh, praise God. Glory to God. And uh, uh, we are to live the life we talk about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. I often say talk is cheap. It takes money to buy land. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have to live what we talk about. Yes. Praise God. And we have to be an uh, example. Yes. Our lifestyle is supposed to be an example mm -hmm. that a sinner want to come through right. Christ through mm -hmm. our lives. Mm -hmm. That example. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Because he know that this is different than what he, he looking like. Yes. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank and you. so um, the Lord had him to put this in there. So Jesus healed uh, a centurion uh, uh, servant. He healed him, yes. and uh, he didn't. He didn't touch the man. Uh, he didn't do nothing. And and uh, 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 the man said, uh, "Just speak the word." Mm -hmm. And then when they got back, went back to the house. That man was up and and. You know, moving around and everything, he was completely healed. Yes. Uh, praise God. <coughs> Glory to God. And and uh, uh, that faith, mm -hmm. praise God, what caused that man to be healed. Yes. That yes. faith, mm -hmm. praise God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Faith is 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 powerful. Yes. Uh, praise God. When you have it in 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 uh, Jesus' uh, ability to do these mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. things. Uh, praise God. And so that that uh, uh, faith that he had was the cause that this uh, this uh, uh, servant uh, uh, to be healed through Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Thank, Thank you. you. And speaking of faith, Paul has something to say about faith. He said, "Now faith mm. is." Mm. 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 Otherwise, you got to have now. Otherwise, I believe it. You don't have to see it happening, but just believe it is happening because you got the faith to believe it. Mm. It is the substance of thing you're hoping for. And the evidence thing does not seem. Well, we don't see it. Just believe it. And it'll materialize later on. You might believe for something when you get home, it's already there. Amen. That's what the Centurion did. Mm -hmm. Speak the word, my servant will be healed. When they got back, his servant was healed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't see Jesus get down to the house or go to the house ahead of them. They speak the word, and he'll be healed. And when they got there, he was healed. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the way we have to believe. We believe in the unseen. Don't believe what you see is not faith. Believe what you don't see. Tell Rodney. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord praise for El Rodney coming. Review us. I love to hear him review us. We got lots of words.
say to you? Bless you, Mother. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We got a hand praise for our Sunday school teachers. Oh yes, yes. We thank God. Thank God for that. Amen. Good. <clears throat> Another good lesson. Yes. Oh, I tell you, I, I love to learn about the word. Yes, sir. And I feel like I'm getting to know God better. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. You Amen. know, you know what He expects of Amen. us. We know what to do. It's just good. It's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, Pastor, Dad, and Mom Brian taught the lesson well. My assignment is to go through the scriptures and review the lesson. <laughs> Our lesson is, uh, and for those watching online, we at Mother Tucker Ministries, mm -hmm. we use Union Gospel Press, Bible Expositor, and Illuminator books. Yes. You can follow along. So this lesson is Jesus Heals a Centurion Servant. Mm -hmm. Our lesson text is Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 10. Mm -hmm. You need your Bibles. So we're going to recap last week right quick, last week's lesson. Uh, what was the title of last week's lesson? Ezekiel brings what? <laughs> Hope to Israel. Oh, God. Uh, and we discussed last week that Ezekiel was a what was his title? What, what, Ezekiel one and three. The priest. The priest. Priest first. Yeah. Then yeah, a prophet. Yeah. We read in Ezekiel thirty-seven and one in our lesson. That the hand of the Lord, uh, Lord God Jehovah, carried Ezekiel out in a vision and set him in the midst of a valley of what? A valley, a valley full of bones. Yes. And verse 2 said those bones were very dry. dry. Very dry. Right? Mm -hmm. Verse 3, God asked Ezekiel... <coughs> Verse 3 of last week's lesson, God asked Ezekiel, but God called him son of man. Of man. Mm -hmm. And we talked about that, what the son of man represented, represented uh, one person representing a greater order, what the you know, son of man yes. was representing Israel, yes. God's people, which was mankind in God's eyes. Represent mankind because Israel was to be a light to the world, a light to the Gentiles. Right? Yes. Son of man. All right. Um, so God referred to him as Son of Man. He asked him an awkward question, mm -hmm. verse 3, from a natural perspective. Mm -hmm. God asked this priest what? Now, what was he look, What was he looking at? He was, talking, he was looking at a, a, a valley of dry bones. Skeleton. Yeah. Dry bones. Right. And God asks you, can these bones live? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Scott. Woo. Now, you got to realize Ezekiel knew who was asking him that. Yeah. But he was asking me, little old me, mm -hmm. can these bones. Ezekiel said they were very dry. Yeah, very dry. Just bones, no flesh, no heart, no brains, no blood, mm -hmm. just dry. And not even no blood stains, just dry blood, I'm imagining, right? Mm -hmm. Verse 4, God told, oh, Ezekiel's reply was, uh, Lord, you know. Lord, you know. <laughs> 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 I ain't going to even try to answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that, you know, I know you know. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Verse 4, God told Ezekiel to prophesy or speak to these bones. Mm -hmm. And say, dry bones, hear what? The word, word of the Lord. The word of life, right? The word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes, life. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. God would use Ezekiel to say, thus said who? The Lord, the Lord right? Mm -hmm. uh, many times.
sometimes God uses people to accomplish his will. Yes. Ezekiel was available. Amen. God used Ezekiel to say, thus said the Lord. He said, God will cause what to enter you? Talk to the bones. Bread. Life or spirit, right? God is God had Ezekiel talking to dry bones. Amen. Who? God told God told Ezekiel to say to those dry bones. He says, "Bread or spirit or life will enter you, and 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 what will happen? Ye shall live." That's any situation we got. Any situation we got. Dry bones. Speak the word, life, which the word is life, and ye shall live. Very encouraging. Uh, we're going to skip to verse 10. We've got to keep moving. So Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel only prophesied the things that he thought was possible. It says, he prophesied as what? As he commanded me. Didn't just prophesy his opinion. Mm -hmm. He prophesied as he commanded. He obeyed God, right? Yes, sir. He was obedient. Mm -hmm. And because Ezekiel obeyed God, what came into those dead bodies? Those dry bones. What came yeah. into them? Yeah. Bread. Yeah. Spirit of life, right? Mm -hmm. And those dead bodies are now, they now yeah. live. Uh, and next they did what? Verse 10. They stood up on their feet, but they were a what? Exceeding great army. Extra large, or one version of the Bible, CIV reads it was extraordinary large. <coughs> Verse 11. God told Ezekiel, these bones are who? Whole house of Israel. Whole house of Israel. Was Israel one whole house at this time? No. No. How many houses? Two. 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 Judah and Israel. Good, mother. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Judah, which was the southern kingdom, yes. Israel was the northern kingdom. Oh, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. That happened after King Solomon died. Yes. Uh, okay, more of this stuff. We, we got we, we to gotta move on to this week's lesson. But Israel brought hope. I mean, Ezekiel brought hope to Israel. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. So now we're shifting to the New Testament. Jesus heals a centurion servant. Yes. Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 10. Mm -hmm. All right, so we start our lesson at Luke ch 7, chapter, Luke chapter 7, verse 1, which says, when he had what? Ended his sins in the audience. Ended all his sins. Who is the he referring to? Jesus. 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 And his sayings referred to the Sermon on the Mount. This was chapter 6. Good yes. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Long. Well, in Matthew's version, it was like three chapters long. Yes. Uh, but Sermon on the Mount, which included the Beatitudes. Yes. Uh, many other things, including what we call the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things. A lot of things. So after these things, he did that. And after this, Jesus entered into what city? Capernaum. Capernaum. Yes. Verse 2. Somebody had a real sick servant or slave. Who was that? Centurion. They said a certain centurion. Yes. Was this centurion an Israelite? No. No. He was a Roman. And what is a centurion? Mm -hmm. Military officer. Uh, the word centurion, you know, uh, it actually means he's a captain over 100 men, mm -hmm. right? You think it was century is 100 years, centurion, right? Yeah. So he was over, he was a captain. They said he's a captain over 100 mm -hmm. men. Uh, verse 2 says this servant was what unto the centurion? How did the centurion feel about this servant or slave? He was dear, dear unto him. He really cared about it. This was his yeah. duty. He, he really cared about this. This yeah. servant... And it said, and the Bible said, this servant was ready or about to what? Die. 
to God. Verse 3, when the centurion heard about who? Jesus. Jesus. He sent who unto Jesus? The elders of the Jews. For what? Verse 3. To be to be heal his servant, right? The elders of the Judeans. So he sent the elders, the centurion sent the elders of the Judeans, mm-hmm. which we know the Jews talk about that a lot. That meant Judeans, so people who lived in the southern kingdom, my mother said the southern kingdom, mm-hmm. they called them Judeans, which mm-hmm. we just, Jews are just short for Judeans. It didn't, yeah. didn't mean Judaism. Mm-hmm. There was no such religion as Judaism in the Bible <laughs> days. The Jews was not short for Judaism. Mm-hmm. It was just a Israelite families living in Judea, mm-hmm. they call them Jews, which is short. Anyway, there's an etymology on how that how it all played out. Mm-hmm. So when the elders of the Ju- of the Judeans reached Jesus, verse four, they besought him how instantly, instantly. Yes. or earnestly. Yes. The NIV reads, they pleaded earnestly with Jesus, yes. right? Now they pleaded saying this centurion was what? Worthy. Worthy yeah. for whom he should do this. Yeah. Right? Kill him, right? Mm-hmm. Why would they have to plead with Jesus to heal this Roman centurion's servant? You know, I think that's a I, I think that's a question that we got to deal with, and it's very clear. It's very, the, books, the book makes it racial, but it wasn't racial. The racial point is a good point, but that was not the issue. Uh, in your Bible, just turn to Matthew 15 right quick. We're going we're, we're to just... This is, this is the story of a woman who came to Jesus. Yeah. <clears throat> Matthew 15, 21. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this right quick. It says, uh, Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan, this story is parallel uh, in Mark also. Yeah. But anyway, it said, A woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Lord, have mercy on me. O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he, Jesus, answered her not a word. He did not answer her. <coughs> this woman wanted her daughter to be healed. Jesus did not answer her a word. He was not being racist. It, it didn't have nothing to do with race, right? It's very clear. Amen. And his disciples, verse 23, his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away or heal her. That's basically what they were saying. For she cried out to us, but he answered and said, what? I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This was very serious with Jesus, Amen. right? That was his assignment. And in, and in Mark's version, he says that the children be healed first. Yes. He goes on to say, I said, so she came and worshiped him. She had a conversation with him. Lord, help me. He answered her, it is not meat. Mm-hmm. He's explaining why he can't heal her right now, right? right? Now. Mm-hmm. In this culture, it looks evil, but it was not evil. I keep saying we have a cultural issue. Mm-hmm. In the Bible culture, it was not an evil thing. Mm-hmm. It was Order, right? Yeah. Israel first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So he said, uh, she said, Lord, help me. Mm-hmm. He answered, said, it is not me. That word, that word could be translated, it's not right. Mm-hmm. It's not good. Mm-hmm. Look up the Greek word, it means it's not good mm-hmm. to take the children's bread mm-hmm. and cast it to dogs. He wasn't being mean when he said dogs, mm-hmm. right? So, she said, truth, Lord, dogs eat of the crumbs of trough from the Jesus, you know, table. Jesus answered to verse 28, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thy will, thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole mm-hmm. on that very hour. Mm-hmm. Right. So, but that was why uh, they had to, they said he was worthy. Yes. 
because he wasn't an Israelite. Mm -hmm. right. and, the, and healing was the children's bread. Mm -hmm. when, yes, sir. When you, when you say they made it racist, how did they make it racist? In the book, in, in yeah. the book when, when you read the book, I don't, I don't mean they made it racist. They, the, they were basically saying that it was a racial issue. They were saying that um, they were trying to say that basically making a point that don't matter what color you are, we need to treat everybody the same. That's that was the way. Oh, okay. That was the point they were making in my book. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't a racial issue in the Bible. Okay. Right? Yeah. But that's this culture. Right. We right. see things like that because of the history in this culture. We see everything like that. But it wasn't like that in the Bible. Right. It was ancestry. It wasn't racist. I don't see no different races in the Bible. Right. So. So, so we, I, I, you know, my conviction, we need to know what the Bible says first. Then we can add it on to our situation. Mm -hmm. But if we want to talk about it, you know, just kind of Amen. Did, did, I, did I answer you? Yes, yes, yes. So, so, uh, so, so that was why they had to plead with Jesus mm -hmm. to heal a man. Yes. Because healing was the children's right. bread. Right. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. He was sent first to Israel. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, Matthew uh, 10 and 5, there's many places in there that, that, that that's pretty good. Just order. Even Paul said the gospel was to the Jew first. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. So, okay, so, um, like I said, that story was parallel in Mark 7, 24 and 30, calling, the, calling this same woman a Greek, which was the culture and not the race. Mm -hmm. uh, it says she was a Syrophoenician by race, by, by nation, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Which is kindred, uh, just simply means she, that, that means she wasn't an Israelite. She was a Syro, which was Syrian, and Phoenician, which was Canaanite, mm -hmm. mixed ancestry. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, but all this is important in understanding why Jesus was not get, was not going to heal her. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus and his, and his healings was to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. Got to keep on going. So the elders pleaded with Jesus, mm -hmm. saying the centurion was worthy. Yes. Okay, verse 5 in our lesson. The elders of the Judeans continued pleading with Jesus, saying the centurion loves what? Our nation. Our nation. Our nation. Obviously referring to the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, whom Jesus said was to be filled first. Mm -hmm. uh, I wrote a lot of stuff down. So verse 6. In verse 6, so the elders pleaded with Jesus that this centurion was worthy of the healing that was reserved solely for who again? The house of Israel, or the children. Mm -hmm. Children of Israel. Now they are headed to the centurion's house. Uh, and did the Bible say were they far away? Yeah. Verse 6. Not, not far away. Mm -hmm. or not far from the house. Amen. Then the centurion sent friends out saying to Jesus, Lord, what? Trouble not thyself, right? The centurion said, for I am not what? I'm not worthy. He was a humble man, right? He said, oh, he's, not, he's not worthy that thou shouldest what? Enter into my house. He said, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Amen. The, the, the Judeans or the Israelites were forbidden to go into the house of Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Right? That was in the law. See, one, one thing about the law, the law was the only scriptures they had mm -hmm. to go by. They didn't have the book. We read the end of the book, and we, but the law was all they had. All they had yes. That was all they had. That was the scriptures. That was how they were holy. Keep talking about that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so he said he didn't think himself, he didn't think he himself was worthy to do what? To come unto thee. He said, just do what? Say in a word. And my servant might be. No. Shall be. Healed. So you ain't got to come. Amen. Just say it. I just need to hear you say it. But your word is life. Last week's lesson, right? Your word is life. 
Ezekiel spoke a word to them dry bones. That's right. Come on now. And then things start coming together. Yeah. <laughs> Sinew and skin and flesh they start coming together, right? The tendons. And then God's word again spoke life to them. Dead bodies. They were bodies at that point. They were still dead. Yeah. yeah. God's word spoke life. So this centurion said, just say an open word. Yeah. And my servant shall be here. Verse 8. The Roman centurion said, for I am a man set under what? Authority. 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 Meaning he is not out on his own. Amen. This is a centurion, a military man, as we were talking about, Mother and Dad of Mount Brian. Military man. The order of command, Uncle Polly was in the military. I don't know who else was in the military, but the, the order of using the military, yeah. So the order of command, they don't play. No, no. Right. That's order. Am I right? They don't play with that order right. of command. Because, but, but you got to have that, especially in the military, right? You can't have nobody. I want to do it like, no, everybody got to move as one. They got to be under one. They are so strict yes. about it. Yes. So he's saying, uh, and, that, and I got the order of command being respected and obeyed is crucial in any military. Yes. And he was under authority and understood that part. Yes. The Roman centurion said he ha he also has what under him? Men. Men. Verse 8. Uh, soldiers, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Having under me soldiers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he explained that he gave commands and his soldiers under him does what he commands. Yes. Yeah. So this, this centurion, the Roman capital of 100 soldiers, was under authority, and he also had authority. Yes, yes. So he understood that part, you know. And I, I think about this a lot, you know. I, even on jobs, you know, that we work on, and a lot of times we complain about the company, yes. right? But me having my own little company, but I have a company. I've got guys working right now, and I look at things from the company's perspective also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. But a, a, a lot of, you know, a, a lot of people, they don't, they, they don't think about that. They don't even care. <laughs> they don't care about the company side. Right. All they know is they're not giving me this, you know. Yes. But this Roman centurion, he understood both sides, right? Yes. yes. I, I, I have authority and I'm also under authority. Oh, no. <clears throat> That's why he has authority. That's why he got authority. Mm -hmm. The authority is given. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so he said he was under authority, he had authority. Verse 9, authority was given to him. Uh, when Jesus heard all of this, he what? Marveled. Marveled at the Roman centurion. Yes. He told his followers that he had he hadn't found what even in Israel? Such so great faith. So great faith. Remember, he came to Israel first. Amen. He was looking for that in Israel. Yes. <laughs> and he found it in the Gentile. Amen. Mm. Verse 10, and when the elders <laughs> of the Jew Judean <laughs> returned to the house <clears throat> where the servant was, what did they find? The servant was whole. A whole. That had been sick. sick. Wow. And I have a note here. This word whole, I talk about whole a lot. It's from, it's from a different Greek word than sozo. It's just meaning in health. Mm -hmm. You see this word whole anytime they're talking about being healed in health. Mm -hmm. And they say whole is talking about the body. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of different words for whole. Sozo, was translated saved, is a whole whole. <laughs> it's everything. everything. Okay. But anyway, but he said it, but his servant was made whole. His body was completely whole. <laughs> That was what they found. And the servant in our lesson was made whole in his body, uh, which was a centurion's request right. by faith in Jesus' word. Amen. Right. That centurion had faith yes. in Jesus' word yes. that his servant would be made whole. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Says unto, it's according to your faith, be it unto you. Right? Yeah, unto you. Right. Mom and Dad, do you have any closing thoughts? I'd just like to commend you on reviewing us. And uh, I'm going to go back to Ezekiel. You know, after Ezekiel, when God asked him a question, he said, you know it. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel never got ahead of God. Every time God is prophesied, and he tells him what to do. He go back and do it, and the mm -hmm. thing come together. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and while you were speaking on that, it was like coming in my spirit. It, that's the way it works. Mm -hmm. We don't get ahead of God just because God uses us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when God uses a person, mm -hmm. they get out of the will of God and start doing it on their own mm -hmm. and mess up everything. That's <laughs> up. That's up. That's up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take God in His words. I heard somebody say, "If you don't, if you don't know what God wants you to do, why are you praying? Just do the last thing He told you." That's right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <true. laughs> yeah. Just do the last thing He told you. You yes. probably didn't do that. You probably did. You know? <laughs> but don't get ahead of God, though. Don't get ahead. Right? Don't get ahead. Just one step at a time. Take yes. Him at yes. His word. Yes. Don't make his word fit what I understand or what none of this. Just take God at his word. Amen. Thank you. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our life. Father. Thank you. Healing is a children's plan, but you have opened it up to all, everyone who believes. Thank you for healing. Every, all who believe are your children. Thank you for what you're doing by your spirit, Father. Thank you for constantly praying for the sick and the shut in. We thank you, Father, for the, for the work that yes. you're doing in the bodies of your people. Yes. Thank you, Father, for touching the bodies in the mighty yes. way. God. All yes. sickness and disease, yes. we thank you that you are making them yes. whole. You're making the body yes. whole. Yes. In Jesus' name, just by your word, yes. we thank you, God. We trust thank you. We take you at your word. We thank you for your word. Thank, you, for your word. thank you, Father. We thank you for the word that's coming forth. Yes. We thank you for what you're doing by your spirit yes. in our lives, Father. We thank yes. you for that word. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.